Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot, but I do also fly RC planes. Today we're going to do a review of this massive, massive plane. This is from FMS and it is called the P47 Razorback Bonnie. And it's huge. You know, when I received this, it said it was 1500 millimeters from wingtip to wingtip. I'll put what that is in feet below. And uh, normally 1500 millimeter planes fit in my Jeep, no problem. And you know, they're small. I can put them on the walls of my house or in my garage but this thing is massive look at the thickness of the body look at the size of my hand compared to this body i gotta go all the way down here and then it's got armaments all over it it's you know it's stunning to look at anybody who looks at this plane wonders can that actually fly well i don't know i haven't flown it so we're going to fly it in this video let me tell you a little bit about it it runs on a 6s battery i've got a 4000 6s battery in there at the moment it has a four bladed prop it has a 70 amp esc i would assume because the wings are so big that uh, it probably gets quite a bit of flight time on that 6s battery like it probably just lumbers along really nice that's what i'm assuming <laughs> i haven't watched any videos on it so maybe it's a speed demon and i'm going to be just blown away now it has all the things you would expect on a plane of this size it's got indicator lights like huge ones on the wing tips it has retracts that have suspension in them so if you come down hard they're very solid they're made to take off on grass and land on hard gravel or grass so Get down. It has the normal flaps, ailerons, it's got a tail wheel that goes up inside. Everything is synced really nice, so it looks very realistic, very scale, very authentic when it's flying and the gears going up and down. All in all, a super nice plane. So later in this video, after I take it for a flight, and hopefully I don't destroy it, uh, I will show you how I built it. And I will say for a plane this size, man, is it simple to build. It also has the FMS reflex system inside, which is like a gyro, a stability. So if it's a windy day or anything like that, you can put on the reflex, you can switch it on, you can switch it off, or you can put the reflex on so that if uh, you're trying to uh, fly the plane and you're talking to somebody else and you don't want the plane to flip over, you just put the reflex on and it won't let it flip. So you just keep it up in the air. I use that an awful lot when I'm talking, doing these videos because a lot of times I'm talking doing these videos and my brain can only do one thing at a time either talking or flying not both so the next thing to do is take this for a flight because I see the kids have gone in Woohoo! all right let me show you how I get this p47 out of my Jeep it uh, is only 1500 millimeters wingspan which normally is perfectly fine to fit in a Jeep just sliding it through but this one is a bit large so if you get this plane make sure you got space for it because look at this wingtip to wingtip fits across there fits everywhere there i have to lift it straight up and out ah we have a tractor mowing the lawn on the field i've got a tractor over on this side and i have kids on that field so i'm gonna have to fly out that way circle and come back and stay closer to over here away from all those kids okay make sure everything works ailerons elevators up down up down we got our rudder working great motor Let's check our flaps flaps it's good flaps position two flaps level so i'm going to take off and go more that way around back over here oh no i got kids running at me i'll have to wait till they go by hey at least tractor man's gone okay kids going by oh my god the obstacles i have today okay full flaps, flaps i want this up two. quick full flaps heading out that way so here we go i'm gonna gear put up. the gear up and i'm putting the flaps, flaps full the good thing is it's so friggin huge that i could fly it far away and still see it so i'll bring it back this way so this is a maiden i haven't flown this one before just gonna keep it closer to me here. I'm gonna go over, give a good bit of throttle. There it goes. No kids under me. Go over to the car parking lot. I'm gonna crank it full now. It's on a 6S. It can move. This is pretty good. Bring it back for a low pass now. Bring it down. It's so huge. It's like, where's the stall zone in this? I don't want to stall it. It's got all the armament on it, but here we go. Going over. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Four minutes. I normally don't fly this direction, but this thing is so huge that I can do this. I can fly it far away. I'm over the tractor, everything. Let's go back and then I'll bring it back at me now. I'll go right over my head. Keep it up high. There. 
make a tight corner back to me tight turn this way get away from these kids all right so i'm gonna have to go fly i think in a different area these kids keep running around messing up my flight route here i gotta give it some power here bring it back at me here there we go i'll try to do some low passes right by me Try not to kill the tractor man. Coming in low and hot. Go over here, make sure there's no kids. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, it just looks like it's just floating in the air. So obviously to land that I have a problem because I have all the kids over here. And I got tractor man over there too. Oh my God, this is turning into be a joyful day. I'm just walking out of the field. As long as I bring it at me, there should be no kids behind me. There we go, beautiful. Full power, keep it away from the kids. Okay, so it looks like I can't land it in this field. I'm gonna have to go land it over where Tractor Man is, unfortunately. He's not gonna like that because he's mowing the lawn. But that's where I'm gonna have to land it. All right, this is World War II. We're bombing this tractor. There we go. Going over the tractor. This is what happens a lot of times. You come out to fly and kids come out everywhere. And humans are, yeah, you just can't control them. See where they are over there? So I don't know uh, how close they're going to be, how far they're going to be. So I got to bring this over. So I'm even going over the humans right now. All right. I'm reducing throttle. Reducing throttle. I, put the, I don't have to put the flaps on. It just glides. Look at that. Oh, he's going to the tractor. <laughs> I get it out of the way. Holy crap! I didn't know he was gonna turn around there. It's hilarious. All right. Wow, this could have been the uh, turn my plane into confetti. And you see this grass is totally soaking wet out here. So let me see if I could just drive it on the grass. Uh, it doesn't drive too bad. You just don't want the tail to lift too much. There we go. Oh, I see what the problem is. I'm dragging my bomb. I'll just carry it. All right, so that was an awesome flight. Glad I didn't hit Mr. Tractor Man. Next thing I want to show you is if you buy this, how large the box is and all the components in the box and how easy it is to put everything together. So uh, check this out. This is the very large box your P47 comes in. Inside the box, you'll see the contents are very well packaged. Items in the box include the operator's manual, the main wings, which are extremely large, but everything has already been installed on them. Then you have the horizontal stabilizers, followed by the main fuselage, and you can see the motor's already installed, all the electronics are already installed, and all the servos are already installed. Next, you have the wing spars, followed by all the items you can add to your plane, such as the fuel pod, you have the bombs, and you have the cannons. Other smaller items included would be the prop blades, a USB-C cable for programming the reflex system if you need to, guns to place on the wings, some plastic antennas to add to the body for looks as well as some screws, and finally the propeller mount. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble this plane. First take the small black wing spar and pass it through the rear of the plane, and it should look like this. Then take the two small tail wings and slide them over the wing spar on either side, push them together tightly and they will click into place. Then secure them with the included screws. Flip the plane upside down, take a look at the rudder at the rear. You'll notice a plastic control horn attached to the rudder. Just unscrew it. Next, thread that plastic piece you took off into the metal rod that's hanging off the plane. Thread it until it's nice and tight. Now reattach that plastic piece to the rudder the way it was when you found it. Now with your plane still upside down, take a look at the other side and you'll see another control horn. This one needs to be attached to the elevator. You can either push it in place or you can do like I did here, unscrew it, then screw it back in place. Return your plane to right side up and install the two white wing spars. Take your main wings and slide them over the wing spars. Push the wings in nice and tight so everything is flush with the body. When completed, your wings should look like this. The wings are held in place with the included four screws. Merely screw them in place and everything will be ready to go. As you see here, you'll need glue to install the guns onto the wings. Add some glue, push the guns onto the wings and they'll hold in place. The propeller needs to be assembled before being installed on the plane. All you need is the front plate and the back plate and the four blades. Attach the four blades to the base plate, then add the top cover, then add the four included bolts. Flip it over and add the four included nuts. Tighten the bolts and nuts so everything is secure. Add the included stickers to the prop blades which gives it a more authentic look like this. 
Slide the prop onto the motor and secure in place with the included nose spinner. And there you have it, all the major assembly has been done. All right, so that concludes my review of the P47 Bonnie. I think it's an awesome plane. I really like this one. It is rather large for my liking. I do like large planes, but it takes up the whole back of my Jeep, which means I can only bring one plane. Well, I guess I could put a plane in the back seat as well. But uh, when you bring it out to the field, it dominates. If you fly it with other planes, the other planes look so tiny in the air compared to this one when you come close. And this one flies like a dream. It just glides all over the place. It's got so much surface area. It can carry all the armament, all the bombs underneath, everything you place on it doesn't affect it at all. And you don't even need flaps for landing as you saw. It just glides down and I came on the grass really nice. And the grass is wet and it's chunky and everything. And this thing landed even with the big uh, bomb underneath. You know, that didn't even cause it to flip over on landing. So all in all, I'd say this is a really awesome plane. Really awesome plane. If you can get this one, please get it. You're, you're gonna love it. You know, one thing I didn't show you is the battery inside, inside compartment. So I have a GoPro over there, hang on. So down here, the battery compartment, pull that out. And then down here, look at the room you have in there. You could put like a, a swimming pool, a spa, sauna, everything else in there. You got so much space, your servos, all your electronics are back here. And then way down there is your battery that you're gonna put in here. So let me just show you that. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. You just pull out the tray. There we go. So my whole battery should come right out. There we go. So that's what I was flying on here. That was a 6L 4000 milliamp hour LiPo battery at 50C. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos with really large RC planes as well as jets and all sorts of really fun stuff because I really like planes. I like anything that flies in the air. So you'll see drones, planes, helicopters, all that good stuff. Till then, I say bye.